Hey guys, I hope you guys are all doing great. Jamie here, Divinely Canadian Tarot. I'm here to do a reading for you guys to find out why the heck you were ghosted. Where the hell did they go? They disappeared like a fart in the wind and uh, you're just left with a lot of unanswered questions. We're going to figure them out today. So uh, let's get into it and figure out why they ghosted you. Okay, so... Uh, was it you is really what we're going to be asking right away. Was it you? Why did they ghost you? So let's find out. Why did they ghost? Why did they ghost you? Spirit guys, why were they ghosted? Look at that. Because uh, it was for your greater good. Here comes the sun. Do, 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 do. And guys, your plans will work out well, bringing you happiness, prosperity, and success. You'll garner the recognition for your accomplishments you so richly deserve. I mean, the sun is like one of the most exciting energies to get in tarot. It's all about joy, happiness, success, everything that fulfills you in life. So uh, I just feel like um, they were not worth being you know, in your life and the universe <laughs> helped them figure that out. So next we're going to see, was it because they found someone else? Okay, well, let's see. Was it because they found someone else? Spirit guides, did they find someone else? Is that why they ghosted them? Six of air. I feel like they have problems, okay? Like I always say, 99.9% .9 of the time, you've been ghosted. It's not your fault. It's their fault. They, they've got issues, right? They could be going through some sort of challenging time right now, and uh, they are really working through trying to um, figure out what they're... Uh, what they're going through right now to get some resolution. So I'm not feeling like uh, there is anybody else here, but we're going to clarify to uh, really figure this one out. And uh, were they just using you for, um, <clears throat> you know, for some sex, for some boom, boom and room, room, like boom, boom, boom. Let's go back to my room so we can do it all night and you can make me feel right. Whoa. <laughs> were they just using you for sex? Well, I feel like you were like perhaps maybe a comfort blanket for them at the time uh, in their life that they needed. And because um, it's saying this person's got a lot going on in their life, like a lot going on. And it's just too much. And I feel like sometimes they just pull themselves away from everything and everyone trying to. Uh, I'm sorry. All I'm seeing is the Neo Citroen dog here. <laughs> Anyway, that's an old commercial. That's how old I am. So uh, do they have any regrets? Are they uh, missing you? Do or, or you know, or, are they going to come back? Do they miss them, spirit guides? Uh, do they miss them? Well, your intuition, I feel like, is right bang on, okay? So uh, if you are... Um, you know, getting some sort of uh, message about what is going on. I feel like you're going to realize that it has nothing to do with you. Okay, because it says it's time to take a pause and self-reflect and then trust, you know, that uh, nothing's hidden from your intuition and that you know. You have a way of knowing. And then look, nine of earth, should you take them back? Guys, you are able to run your life all on your own. That Nine of Pentacles is a very independent, grounded energy. I mean, look at that cat. It's the rag doll. It even says that your success has brought you some security, some rewards, and uh, some uh, time off. Well-deserved if you want to take a vacation as well. And uh, you can even enjoy your own company. That's how you know you are, um, you know, content and happy in your life. Right. When you can enjoy your own company. And um, yeah, it says you're going to have a brilliant idea, perhaps at some point, and uh, it could really bring you a lot of success in your life. So I feel like independence is uh, something that uh, you strive on. So uh, I don't feel like you need to take this person back because you can take care of yourself. 
All right, we're gonna clarify these uh, energies here. So uh, was it you? Why did they ghost you? Is, uh, well, like I said, the sun, they did you a favor. It was a blessing in disguise. Look at that, Knight of Wands. They were just, well, you want to know if they were using you for sex? This is the little Rico Suave, the neighborhood bicycle. Everyone's taking a ride on, you know? That kind? Mm-hmm. Wow. And it could be a Leo, Leo energy. And the hermit, like you had to go deep within. You were like, what? Ha why do they keep leaving and disappearing and then coming back? Like, what are they doing? They're, they're busy making their rounds, you know, around the neighborhood. They, they got, they're busy, you know, they got a lot going on here. Uh-huh. And the hangman, and you're just here, am I wasting my life? Uh, and, uh, yeah, um, you know what? I feel like you already knew that this person was up to no good. And I feel like them, you know, finally disappearing and, and, and being gone. I don't know how long it's been since you've heard from them, but I feel like it's been a little while. And uh, you have just been kind of waiting, hovering, trying to figure out, was it me? Are they going to come back? You know, mm -hmm. I feel like you're overanalyzing this like to death. Did they find someone else? Well. It says they're going through a challenging time right now, and uh, they're really trying to work through this so that they can have a happier life ahead. So did they find someone else? Look at this. Ten of fire, ten of fire. I feel like they are doing something that is creating um, a lot of drama in their life that is making them overwhelmed. Perhaps, I don't know if they're like working too much and they're doing like too many things and uh, it's just really overwhelming them. And perhaps they had to pull back all their energies from everything that they were doing in their life. And it could be that it's not just you, right? Strength, uh, Leo energy. Um, I feel like this situation is, uh, you know, going to make you stronger. Because I feel like you're going to realize it's not you. <laughs> it's not you. It's me. That's George's line on Seinfeld. <laughs> Four of wands. Did they find someone else? You know, I feel like um, they are um, not looking for someone else. I feel like whatever the situation is for them, I feel like it's family related. You know, I don't know if there's something going on in their family that is creating like a lot of um, chaos, drama, a lot for them to deal with and handle, you know. So the Ten of, of, of Fire is the next one. Were they using you just for sex? Well, let's find out. Okay. I, honestly, I don't feel like they were, but I feel like that's what your relationship was kind of, you know, um, mostly about. And that's why you're wondering, perhaps, some of you. The Magician. Mm. I feel like you were helping them get through things in, in their life by bringing a lighter side when they're with you. They were able to just kind of let go, be free, and not uh, be judged or overanalyzed. King of Cups. I don't feel like they were using you for sex. This is a very kind, caring, emotional energy. And uh, there's King Cups is a very trustworthy energy, right? I mean, come on, dude, you got the father figure here, right? So uh, with the kids, the dog. So uh, using you for sex? No, I don't. I don't feel like they were. I feel like they're trying to work through their issues, and um, they didn't consider your feelings when they did all of this, which makes them very. Um, I want to say heartless, but. Uh, it was just very selfish of them, uh, the way that they dealt perhaps with just ghosting you, because I feel like they felt like perhaps it was just sex and it was just, um, you guys comforting each other during a period of your lives that, you know, um, they have moved on from and you're just like, what the hell happened? Right? So, uh, do they regret it? Do they miss you? Well, let's see. Hi, priestess. And it says it's time to pause and take time to look at your life right now and trust in your intuition because you can get the answers that way. Eight of Wands. Do they regret? Do they miss you? Well, I feel like they do want to reach out and communicate with you. 
And uh, let's get a couple more here. The Empress. Well, wow. I feel like you are the most together person they have ever met. And I feel like you gave them that comfort. You gave them that non-judgmental comfort that they needed at that time in their life. Three of Cups. Okay. Well, I feel like they do um, think about you a lot. They had lots of fun with you. I mean, the Three Cups is all about celebrations, joy, happiness, you know, uh, I feel like perhaps they, um, you know, just um, felt really, really secure and happy when they were around you at the time that they needed in their life. Okay, should you ever take them back if they do come back? And I mean, look, you're like freaking independent here going like, yeah, I don't think I feel like I need anybody to take care of me. It says your success has brought you financial security. The rewards that you must, much deserve, like time off to enjoy your own company. And if you have a sudden brilliant business idea, go for it. Don't let this stop you feeling like you may not be good enough because somebody ghosted you. Don't ever like um, look at yourself the way others look at you when they're giving you some negative uh, vibes, right? You know your independence. You know who you are and you tell others who you are. You don't let other people tell you who you are is where I was going with that. Are you kidding me? Queen of Coins is the Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy you're giving. And uh, guys, this is crazy because the Nine of Pentacles is, for me as a tarot reader, a pretty much almost the same kind of energy. Independent, grounded, successful, can take care of your own life. And you certainly don't be want to take take care of anyone you want to enjoy your life with them not take care of them right so uh mm -hmm. here comes the sun do 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 oh my oh me you do what makes you happy right you do what makes you happy you want a new beginning with this person that is your prerogative because we're all going through different situations so for whatever reason they disappeared if you are willing to you know uh look see follow your intuition high priestess high priestess need to follow that intuition of yours to decide whether or not you feel like this person is worthy ever coming back into your life so let's get you a, a healing oracle uh, to uh, wrap up this uh, reading, guys. And uh, let me know in the comments down below if you uh, like this reading, if, uh, you know, you prefer my old way. I'm still going to do my other readings, but um, I'm just testing the waters to see if you guys uh, like having your question answered this way, especially if you have been ghosted and you're just kind of trying to figure out WTF, right? Tarot is really the only way you can get your answers to your questions. And I do offer personal readings as well. So just click on more below, uh, on the description box below. It'll open up the um, description, which will give you all the details to get a personal reading. So uh, guys, let's see what we have for a healing oracle for you. Wow, faithfulness. Isn't this an interesting energy to get for are you ghosted <laughs> or why were you ghosted reading? Okay, and remember, you're not alone being ghosted because uh, the Duchess of Sussex uh, was also uh, reportedly ghosted uh, by some dude back in the day. So, uh, <laughs> okay, so this is faithfulness. I commit to my mind, heart, and will. Uh, I am devoted to the needs of my soul. I trust in myself, in God, and the universe. Wow, that's powerful. Love, love, love this, guys. So I hope you uh, enjoyed it and uh, got some, uh, you know, some sort of uh, closure that uh, could help you out. Because I really feel like if you see this video, it's meant for you and uh, it's going to help you get through whatever it is that you are dealing with right now that it's uh, weighing so heavy on you, right? So uh, thank you guys. I feel like it's nothing to do with you. You're quite the catch. Uh, so uh don't forget to hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and uh, share the reading with anyone who you feel uh, could use these messages. And uh, hit that bell, that way you don't miss any videos from me, guys. So uh, have a great morning, night, evening, afternoon, wherever you guys are. And uh, take care, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.